Hi folks and welcome to part 9 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Today is the final day before we go into the nether. I promise we will be in the nether in the next episode. A couple of people have been asking when we're going to get into the nether. The nether is soon, but for today I have an alternative adventure planned. I'm talking of adventures. Obviously we went on an adventure down into the mineshaft in the last episode. Came back with an awful lot of iron and all of that iron has allowed me to replace all of the horrible torches that I had in here with beautiful lamps. Don't they look so much better? Um, we've done a little bit of that work um, throughout the house and around the little area as well. We've uh, we've replaced the fences with torches on with these little makeshift lampposts. I'm not sure I'm happy with those. Um, they might require a little bit more work, um, but we've done bits and bobs inside the house. Well. The storage area is now finished, um, complete with uh, crafting table design in the carpet because the carpet we had done there before looked a little bit rubbish. Um, we've obviously not filled all of this area yet, but we do have um, some quite cool stuff. We've got a lot of train track, which certainly a project for the near future is going to be taking the uh, taking a train or having a train set up to get us over to the trading village and over to where we've got our mine set up. And both of those areas do need some work as well. But the job for today is not working on any of those areas. It's not going in the nether. It's making a start on this room, our adventure room, our trophy room, which also contains a map wall we are going to go out have an adventure and start to get an idea of what else is in the world around us because all we really know is we've got our little base area over here we've got the trading village over there but we don't even know what's the other side of that hill um that all changes today so i've got myself prepped for adventure um i've got some blank maps i've got a bed i've got plenty of food we'll perhaps grab a little bit more food i have a boat um we've got banners so we can mark stuff on our adventure as well um first thing that we want to do is get a map set up for where we are now so that is the map of where we currently that is so cool because it's so zoomed in um you can actually see the buildings and the little farm and everything on there it's the last time you're going to see it in that kind of detail because we're immediately going to make this map bigger um so if we whack this onto our cartography table um we want to fill in a big map today so we're going to keep zooming this out until we have a big map to work with. I think that is maximum zoom. So the map now looks like that. You can see we're right on the edge of that map. So we're going to be heading across that way. I guess we are going to go over that hill. Um, and we're going to try and fill in this entire map today. But before we do that, we are going to make a copy of this map, a clone of the map. Um, have we done this wrong? Why can't I clone the map? Um, these two different maps somehow. Have I managed to accidentally fill in the first one as well? Is this not a blank map? That is a blank map. Why is it not letting me clone it? Um, bear with me. Let's make another. Let's make another blank map. It looks like somehow I've managed to fill in both of those maps, which was not the plan at all. But we're just going to have to craft another compass. And um, we've already got some paper. So compass. And then we want to make that into a map. There you go. Now we have an empty map. I don't know what we've done with that one. They are two different maps somehow. Maybe that was our original map. I'm not sure. We'll put that away for now, I think. Because that's not the one we're concerning ourselves with today. Let's put this redstone away as well. We don't want a clogged inventory before this adventure likewise iron needs to go away as well um if we go back up to the cartography table which is now over here it used to be my bedside table is why i went the wrong way right now we make a clone of the map now you're talking so now we've got a map to go in the hand and um we'll put it we'll put it there so we have a map for the wall as well so if we pop that map into the off hand and then theoretically as we unlock stuff on the map in the hand when we come back the map on the wall will have started to unlock as well and the goal for today's episode is to completely fill in this first map and um, the other things you can see i've now got my full diamond armor on it's not all fully enchanted yet we need enchantments on the helmet and the chest plate but i finally 
uh, wore out that horrible gold chest plate that I've had on since episode one, which is a huge bonus. Right, we're going to be quite methodical with this. We're not going to take Sir Anthony. Sir Anthony, you're staying here. You'll be fine. I don't know what's out there. I don't want to risk you. Likewise, Colin the dog, you're going to be staying here as well. You'll be fine. Stop barking so much. Um, but we're going to be quite methodical about how we fill this in. Job number one, we're going to head this way and we are going to fill the entire right side of this map in up to that top right hand corner. Um, so you can see it's got my little base marked on there with the uh, with the green little uh, marker. That's my respawn point. That's the bed that I've just slept in. And we're going to see what's over here. See, we've never been this way before. This is already new and exciting. I don't really know what I want to find today. I just want to get an idea of what's surrounding us. I mean, there's your typical stuff that you always want to be finding uh, when you're doing this kind of thing. We want more villages. We've already got one village. It would be nice to know that there were other villages nearby. It perhaps save us the job of having to make a villager breeder if there's some more villagers really close by. We'd also like things like um, more abandoned mine shafts. We'd like the uh, ruined portals. We'd like uh, different biomes. I'd love to find out where the sea is, for example, so we can get out and explore over the sea. I'd love a jungle so that we can get access to things like bamboo, which are incredibly important when we move on to uh, making some bigger builds later on in the series. And just basically, we want to find cool stuff. We don't have a cat yet. It would be nice to find a cat. Um, right, let's navigate our way around this. Trying to be careful not to fall off the side of the map. But already this is a uh, this is a different kind of wood to what we've uh, to what we've been using so we can start to collect some of that up we've got a big wet area it's not the sea though we want the sea but we will keep going um what i'm gonna do i think is we're gonna sleep in a second and make it through the first night because what we don't want to do is get caught out here and uh and die that would not be very good at all so let's get a bed down for some sleep before the monsters start to spawn and um, i don't think i'm gonna walk you around with me for every inch of this map <laughs> i think what we'll probably do is i'll uh i'll crack on with most of it off camera and as and when i find something of interest we will uh we will check back in and see what we found so we're going to keep going this way for now it looks like we've got some kind of mountain range over here a snow a snow on top of that mountain that looks like a high mountain i don't think this is where we originally spawned but that already is looking it's quite a cool little area around a, around a little lake if i'd have found this at the start this might have been quite a cool place to, to set up the base Obviously, I, I really like the area and we've got the nice little clearing. We've got the village nearby, so I'm pretty happy with where our base is. But, you know, the second bases, things like that. We, we might we might reach second base in this series. You never know. Right, let's, um, let's jump off camera for a bit while I start filling in some more of this map. And like I say, I will... Oh, oh, I was going to say we'll check back in when I find something interesting. We found the sea. That counts as something interesting we have found the sea don't go anywhere we are getting in the boat and we're going to see what we can find by heading out to sea so jump and then there's a dolphin down there and we're not just going to keep going indefinitely we're still sticking to the original plan of just getting to the edge of this map but it is interesting to know we are relatively close to the sea because We've only got, I mean, we've not gone far from the base. We've got, is that, uh, is that an abandoned ship? A ruined ship over there? I think we have a shipwreck. So we're going to explore a shipwreck. See, this is the sort of stuff we want to find. Just cool stuff that might have goodies for us to grab. We want goodies. This looks like it's going to be on the map as well, which, I mean, let's face it, we'd have gone to a shipwreck off map if we had to, because shipwrecks are just cool. So let's make a beeline this shipwreck and see what we can find on this hopefully we want a buried treasure map that would be perfect but it looks like more of it than usual has been sunk so i don't side on 
can't really work out what we're looking at here. Where are the chests? They're no, there's normally one at the front, one at the back, but I can't really work out. It seems, seems like it's weirdly side on. Um, chest anywhere in here? Are there any chests in? Oh, there's one chest. We'll have that one. Ooh, I mean, they're terrible. It's leather armor and it's got terrible curses on it, so we don't really want them. Um, but where's the other chest going to be? Do we have to we have to dig down to find the other chests? Have we got some? Are they are there trapdoors? We've got to be very careful not to drown here. The last thing I want to do on my big adventure is drown at the first sign of finding anything. Um, we might just have a look from the bottom and see if it looks like there's a another layer on it because it, it really doesn't. No, it looks like it kind of just stops. I feel like there should be something under this end. Let's just dig down a little bit in here. See if we've got is this where the chest we found was that's the one we've already opened isn't it so i i think there might only be one chest which is really weird there's usually two chests on these things but there isn't the boat just stops that is really disappointing oh well hopefully the next thing we find will be a little bit less rubbish um, we need to make sure we just fill in the edge of this map again as well. We don't want to leave any any edges because eventually we're going to make a big old map wall. If you've been watching my been watching my Twitch series where we're doing the uh, the multiplayer Minecraft over on Twitch, um, you'll know that I am a sucker for a big old map wall, and we are definitely going to want that in this series as well. But right, we're going to go on the land for a bit. So let's head up this way and see what's the other side of this hopefully something really cool because if not i will let you uh let you skip me uh wandering through these woods indefinitely we are, as soon as we hit the top right corner we're going to take a left and basically fill in that bit of the map as well and just like i say the goal is entire map gets filled in today and we have a much better idea then of what our surroundings are I think we're about to hit the top edge of this map. We've got a biome change there. You can see the different shades of grass. But nothing particularly new or exciting. We'll just get to the top of this hill. See if we can see a jungle or a woodland mansion or something the other side of it. But no, there's a cow. We have cows at home! This is a very similar clearing to the one that we've set up camping, actually just without a village next to it. Unless there's a village, there's not a village next to it. That would have just been too cool. And apparently we're not allowed cool today. Right, sharp left turn and continue the process. We're gonna head back out to sea. Oh, boys and girls, we have success. We have a desert and we have a village. I can't tell if the village is in the desert. Or is that a separate biome just off the side of the desert? But either way, we have desert there. So we have a nice little uh, bunch of sand for resources. And there is definitely a village right next to it, if not within it. It's difficult to... to I'm too busy looking at the desert and not noticing that I'm driving into that. Um, but this, this, could be, this could be awesome. Right, let's get in here. Let's dismount. We're still only going over the top of the map. There's still so much more of this map to discover. But we have villagers. Excellent. We have terracotta. We have villagers. We're going to steal so much stuff from here. Right, let's get in here and see what we can find. I mean, I do expect what we do. I don't think we've got any acacia saplings where we are. We don't need wheat seeds. We don't need bread. Um, a red bed. You know what? I'm going to swap my white bed for a red bed red bed so much cooler so we'll take the red bed um what have you got for me villager have you got any really cool trades that are going to please me no i mean just no you no, you don't they're terrible trades we've got an iron golem here we don't have an iron golem at the village near base i don't think um we don't need to upgrade any gear 
what I am going to do is stick up a banner to mark that this village is here. We brought banners with us, but we called to be able to come back villages and know where they are. Where can we stick the banner? You know what? We're going to put the banner up here and repl replace the uh, replace the bell that we're going to take in its place. So if we just bump that into that, we get this. Is that marked on? Have I done that twice? We have to do it just the once to get it marked on the map because it was there and then it disappeared. There you go. We've bumped that onto the map. We're going to take the bell and now I think we need to sleep for the night so we're gonna we're gonna bunk with you if that's okay uh, my red bedded friend i must be one of you because i also have a red bed i know i'm standing on you momentarily so that i can so that i can put the bed down it's it's all good it's fine my arm is better than your straw hat well, i would love a straw hat if one was offered to me right let's continue exploring map back in offhand oh oh, oh oh that's a lot of wheat we're taking all of that every that is magic floating wheat we are taking all of this this is gonna this is gonna save us a lot of time when it comes to feeding up the cows for the uh for the cow farm we always need wheat and this just means i don't have to do any farming this is brilliant oh tell me that farmer has a trade where he wants to buy wheat that would be brilliant carrots we got any carrots here that we can uh what have you got we've got a cleric just hovering outside how do you get back up there guys we've all dropped down here how do we get back up top there we go magic can we leap across there we can because we do want to take all of this there's a cat down there i don't have i don't have any fish with me and to be honest i don't really rate my chances of getting a cat back home from here as far as we're aware at the moment, we have to cross an ocean to get back to base. I mean, there's every chance that this continent that we're on now links back up around of ours because we've got so much of the map undiscovered. But for now, I think we should probably assume we're going to have to go back the way we came. And that would mean rowing across the ocean. And that means that cat will not survive the trip. They've got lots of uh, lots of villager job things here, which is cool. There's a sheep just coming out of a cave. Cave sheep. I want a cave sheep. I want to get out of this hole. Right. Oh, see, they've got the got the fancy terracotta here as well. Oh, this just this is an incredible what is this block? Is that gravel? Is that clay? Oh, it's clay! That is amazing. We'll take clay for sure. What have we got in here? Rubbish. We'll take it. Oh, an emerald. Not too rubbish. We'll take that. We are absolutely taking this clay though. I've never seen clay just stacked up like that before. What have you got for me? You want to buy my clay? It just so happens, Mason. We've just come into some clay. We might be talking shortly. Do I want emeralds or do I want clay? What can you do with clay? I don't know whether the emeralds will be more valuable to us at this point. Oh, orange bed. Orange bed. No, orange bed. Much better than red bed. Time for swapsies again. We'll take the orange bed. Thank you very much. Have we got anything else? There are fish down. You know what? Should we just risk it with a cat? We can get some fish. There's fish right here. It seems rude not to try and get a cat. We're not going to head back and particularly try and keep the cat alive. <laughs> I'm the best pet owner in the world. I'm going to get a cat. But I'm not going to particularly try and keep it alive. <laughs> so you're not taking this cat home i don't know if that's even going to be enough fish but we heard the cat before and not hearing him anymore if we run into that cat again we'll try and befriend it some more terrible leather armor you know what i'm gonna put this leather that's that's my gift to you villagers because i don't want that oh hello Can i help you you want to buy leather off me that is a good trade this village is so much better than my village I want these villagers to be my villagers. There's so many of them have got jobs. To me, this is this seems really unusual. What seeds were they? Oh, melon seeds. We've already got melon seeds. We don't need more melon seeds. Does the village carry on up here? Oh, we've been up here. That's where the where we put the banner. I think. I think we've stolen everything that wasn't tied down. Iron Golem, how are you doing, sir? We're just gonna. I'm just going over here to get some cactus. Is that all right? 
You don't have any cactus. I, oh, what is this? They've built a little bridge. Oh, that's adorable. They've built a little bridge to what looked like it was one day going to be a farm. I think it's just their route to the desert. Right. Cactus, always handy. We'll take some of this. Yes, please. Um, there's a bit more cactus there. And then we're going to carry on our exploration. But we know we've got some real seriously good trades in that village. We've got it marked on the map, so we know we can come back to it anytime we need a really cool trade. I think we've been everywhere. Tempted to take those brown banners because they might actually come in useful. But we could then have white banners mean villages and brown banners mean something else. Because I guess the fact that we're right next to a desert means there's probably a desert temple nearby. Whether we actually end up going into the desert is another matter, of course. Because if it's not on the map, we ain't going there today. It doesn't actually look like it is a full desert. It looks like it's kind of just a little bit like a big sandy area next to this biome. It doesn't seem to go very far. But we now have a full inventory. I'm not going to worry too much about that just yet. There's a lot of stuff in there we can bin off. We're certainly not going to head back yet. If the inventory gets unmanageably full with really cool things, then we'll double back and call it a day for this trip. But for now, I'd quite like a sapling of you. Can I have a, can I have a sapling? I just, if I do this, will you, have I got to wait around for a sapling to drop? We don't have these trees where I'm from. Do we, can we just hit it? Will that give us saplings? No. We have to wait for a minute, aren't we? I want some of this wood. We will take the wood. I think it's sleepy time anyway, so we might as well sleep while we're still in the village. I'll wait here and grab a sapling. And then you will join up with me again on the next stage of the adventure. We found the desert in the end. It is just the other side of the village. We've gone a little bit further on and then just the other side of the desert. We find... Ta-da! An outpost. We're heading there. We are we are ready for battle. We have very little room left in the inventory. Um, I've cleared a few bits off. Went back to the village and dumped a few bits in the chest. This is slightly off the map. Um, but I don't see how I can uh, see an outpost and not go and take all of their goodies off of them. Um, so we're going to go and grab all that. And then I think our inventory probably is going to be so full that we might head back and not come close to filling in this map because there's too much cool stuff nearby. Um, but where are you? Where are you? Are they illages or pillagers? I can never remember the difference. Why is there nobody firing crossbows at me? I feel like I'm close enough to have a crossbow shot at me. Oh, there you go. How are you doing? Would you like to try and fire your crossbow at me? Because it's not going to end well for you if you do. As I suspect, oh, it's night time. It's very nearly night time. I probably shouldn't be doing it. I might just go in. There's nobody trying to stop me. I'm just going to go in. Head upstairs. Kill anyone who's in here. Take their stuff. And set up my bed on the top floor. That seems to be the... Uh, Hopefully they've not come up. There you go. We'll sleep up here. My house now. You might you might think it's your house, but it's my house now. Have you got any good stuff? I mean, no wonder you're not trying to defend this. What an absolute load of old dross. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm leaving that here. There's nothing here I want from you. It's all absolute trash. Is that all you've got? Have you got nothing better than this for me? This, this feels disappointing. I, th I think you should have more stuff. I'm a little... I'm cross with you that you don't have more stuff. So I am just... I am going to be dealing with you now. And you've brought this on yourself. Oh, my word. There's so many of them. Um. Oh, my word. Hi, Iron Golem. Do you want to come out and help me? Or are you just going to sit there and watch while this goes on? Um... There's so many of you guys. Come on, guys. Guys, I didn't even take anything. Let's head this way. Let's just have a little bit of steak. I need to pick up a spot where I can just fire arrows back at them from. See, we can all play the arrow game. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. I mean, this is a much easier way to deal with you all. 
If you actually got closer, you'd have more of a chance of killing me. But we can do it this way. This way is fine by me. <laughs> Excellent work. I mean, I feel a little bit... I, I would like it on record. They attacked me. That's what's happened there. They attacked me. I didn't even take anything. I just merely needed shelter for the night. Came in, found somewhere to sleep, and they attacked me. Uncalled for. Right, you can come out because... I want you to deal with the next batch. So you're free now. And this is cool. I like these. Just deal with that. Don't need heads on those. Um, matey, there's loads more of them over here. Can we do you like hand to hand with a sword? Hand to hand sword combat. The best kind. Oh, there's so many of you again. Why is there so many of you? It's like you want me to level up to 30 so I can go and do some enchanting. You? You with the banner? Let's deal with you first. Now we need to find a cow before we can go back to that village. See what you've done? See what you lot have done? We didn't want bad omen. Do you understand what you've done? Ridiculous. You, run. You have the chance to run. No? You're staying here too, are you? Hi, you. Don't come any closer. I'm sorry I had to do that. But sometimes... What you have to do. Right, we are going to need a cow now. I think we're probably in a position where we can leave this in the capable hands of that iron golem now. And head back onto the map. You. I thought I dealt with all you and your friends. Is that an... Uh, I've got a desert temple there as well. This is the best adventure I've been on in quite some time. So we might not have got any goodies out of the... Uh, we didn't get any goodies out of the outpost. In fact, we probably should have used one of our brown banners. In fact, we should use the, the pillager banner for this. And just have this marked on the map. Oh, you guys again. Seriously now, come on. I dealt with you already. I'm going to have to fix my bow after this. This is silly. Right. Let's... Um, we have this. And we then put this here. Please don't fire your crossbow at me. I'm busy. Can you not see that I'm busy? You asked for that. Right, map. Look at the state of me. Um, just one or two. Oh, we've not even got a map that works. Here's me trying to mark it on the map. And I don't have a valid map. Guys, come on now. Let's head back to the temple. They're still chasing me. Give it up, boys. It's over. I mean... I think they got one or two shots in. We'll be fine. We'll be... Yeah, whatever. They always have something to say about it, don't they? Right, we're going to just get in there. Get in here. Take the TNT. We want some TNT. I don't know what we want it for, but it's always handy. We're going to take the TNT. And then I think we head home and continue this map another day. Right. Up into the middle. We just drop straight down the middle. That can't end badly, can it? Uh, and yep, we'll do that. And then... Be a bit more... What tool do we need for this? Is it pickaxe for this? Ta-da! Alright. Take the TNT in a second. What have you got for me? Emma rolls. Okay, see, this is more like it. I don't need all these crossbows. In fact, we could probably heal the crossbows up. I don't know how good they're going to get. We might get to one half decent crossbow. We put one in there, didn't we? Um, I mean, that's not a terrible crossbow. No, we don't need pressure plate 
Um, right. There was a guy in the village buying rotten flesh, so we might take that. Uh, we don't need sandstone. String's always useful. We don't need that stick. I don't think we need any iron horse armor, because we already have gold horse armor. We will take these bits, because they're always useful. Bones are also always useful, so... Um, da -da, we don't need that egg. So we'll take that. Oh, a book of knockback. Can't imagine us using it. I mean, we might use it, actually. That's probably a little harsh. We probably will end up using it. Let's take that. We'll take these. Continue taking the flesh, because we can trade that. Oh, my word. Fire aspect. Oh, a mending book. Imagine if we didn't already have a mending villager. That would have been the greatest find in history. The jungle log, more of these bits. Um, I don't think we need iron or saddles. We've got a lot of saddles back at the base. I'm going to just squeeze it in instead of that pressure plate for now anyway. I think we're going to end up putting it back in like a second when we pick up this TNT. So let's take this as well. Um, yeah, we are going to... We're gonna put but we'll put back the coal. I have the T yeah, we want the TNT. TNT is where it's at. And now we'll just get out of here. Um cobblestone. And up we come. I wanna see a cow before so we're gonna head back towards that village where the guy you trade to the rotten flesh is. But obviously before we get there. We're going to need a cow to drink some milk to get rid of the bad omen that the numbskulls have just given us. Just keep going all the way up on this. I don't think there's going to be anything else that we want in here. Ta-da! There's another village right there. That is not our village from before. I need, I desperately need a cow. I need to remember you lot, I'm trusting you in the chat, in the comments, to remember there is another village right there. That is ridiculous. So much cool stuff. I mean, you can literally see the village, the desert temple, the outpost. We can't go that way because we've got the bad omen. We're going to get back on the map and then... Sooner or later, we're going to explore this extra map. And we now know that we've got an untouched village there that we can go and explore. But my job now, find a cow. I have got a bucket, haven't I? I have got a bucket. Find a cow, get some milk, drink the milk, trade this rotten flesh away, and then get back whence we came. Because there's no point doing any more adventuring. Because we now don't have... Any more inventory space? Take our lovely loot back with us. Right between the eyes. May as well take some XP back with us, though. <laughs> oh, the noise they make. Right. I think it was over this way that we came from before, because that looks like the biome that we entered from. I think we ran over all this before. Am I being followed? I. I don't really want to be followed. It's all the same with you. Thanks. I will take your XP, though. Thank you. Right. Back up here. I should have brought another spare map with me, another empty map. I think I'm heading the right way. But I've got no way of being absolutely certain of it unless I stumble back onto the map. This looks like the right biome. Do they have cows over here, though? We need to sleep as well. Ah, this could all be about to go badly. Badly wrong if I'm walking in the wrong direction. Well, even if we are heading the wrong way, I have cows so I can get rid of this bad omen. Get that down me. And I think just the other side of here, we're going to come back onto the map. I think we we seem to be edging ever closer to that banner that we put down before. So I'm going to find the village, trade anything I can trade, particularly the rotten flesh. Give the rotten flesh. There you go, we're back on the map. We're going to get this rotten flesh traded and I will meet you back at base where we can check our spoils. And we are back at base. As you can see, I filled in a bit more of the map on the way back. Just went slightly wider than what my original route was on the way over here. I've also marked our village on the map as well. So you can see them both 
marked on there and where's the where's the map wall there it is starting to fill in on there as well before too long it'll be ages before too long we'll completely fill in that entire wall and it'll be beautiful but on our little adventure we got three books we got a load of clay we got a couple of bells some new banners a load of tnt a very important flower pot hold on we need a flower pot straight away he's going to be going on my bedside table flower pot what should we put in it um should we put one of the we've only got two acacia saplings and we're wasting one of them to go in there i don't know why we've got torches all the way up this wall um but yeah golden apples we've got some emeralds we weren't able to trade the rotten flesh in the end because he wanted 32 of them and um, we've got some rotten flesh here we've got some cactus as well which will be pretty handy going forward a whole load of string all in all gotta call that a very successful mission if you have enjoyed that video please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me as i always say it is the best thing you can do to help support the series support the channel all that good stuff look at that wall behind me it looks beautiful subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on as well and thank you very much for watching i'm waving waving acacia